Hey, so if you are somebody who has been suffering from nerve pain or sciatica or disc herniation, some of the symptoms that I see almost every single time that somebody comes into the office is usually some sort of form of hip pain. And I'm not talking about like back of the hip pain because a lot of people confuse you know, the back here of the hip or the hip here in the butt or this part of the hip. I'm usually talking about like hip on the inside here or more type of groin pain, like true hip pain. And this is something that a lot of people don't realize that could be happening. There's a few different reasons why somebody with sciatica might actually be feeling some sort of pain in the hip. Now, first things first, uh, it could be a nerve root that kind of wraps around. So there are some nerves that go down into the leg like sciatica, and there are also some branches and distributions or parts of that nerve that can actually be irritated that can potentially cause other forms of hip pain. Now we can talk something like the L4 nerve root, which is like the femoral nerve that comes down the front, or some of the adductor nerves, um, and things on the inside of our thigh that can cause some pain and problems. So we have to realize that it could be a nerve irritation as well, not just from the sciatic nerve, but also from other nerves that come around. Another part is just plain old compensation, right? If your back and your spine is in spasm and in pain and discomfort, what it's going to try to do is compensate. That compensation can lead to these muscles working harder. It can lead to your glutes, quote, turning off, which can really, really, uh, I guess you could say, affect your biomechanics and how your hip and pelvis work as a whole. So a lot of times when we see this in what we call glute amnesia or where the glutes are kind of turned off, it's really when the butt is not turning on and the hips as a result are working harder. So as a result of this working harder, we can see things like the psoas pain, uh, we can see hip flexor issues, we can see a lot of impingement of the groin and stuff like that. And oftentimes, almost every single patient that I see, we do do some hip mobility and hip work and manual therapy, not on just the back or the leg, but a lot of our time is also spent on the groin and the hip and the hip flexor. The psoas is also a muscle that may be a major contributor to your hip pain. We know that when the psoas is it, we know that the psoas in general is just a very powerful hip flexor. It's really strong and it's very, very good at making these hip movements. But it also attaches not only to the hip, but to the spine. So if the spine is in spasm, if the spine is having some issues, then the hip flexor or the psoas that attaches to the spine itself might have a little bit of a spasm or contraction into that muscle. And it could be shortening up the muscle, pulling onto the groin, pulling onto the hip flexor, and causing some issues within there. So those are some three major reasons why I see hip pain when it comes to sciatica. So if it were me, and if you're somebody dealing with some sort of sciatica, I would highly recommend that you see a therapist. Maybe you see a therapist that can help you well with your hip pain, your hip flexor. And I would also recommend some mobility and stretches that you can do to hip to the hip flexor. This is including, but not limited to, a lot of different activities. Uh, we can talk about prayer poses, we could talk about hip flexor stretching, quad stretching, groin stretching, but anything that can help you relieve some of the pressure and tension in there, uh, because it's very common where people start feeling that pain, like kind of wrap around or come through the groin, and they start feeling that groin through there. Uh, it was very, very common, and it's something that it often goes unexplained on YouTube, on Google, and all these other things, so I figured I would make a video about that. But if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Have a great day, and hopefully this helped. Bye.